Alright y'all, this is another one that I want to share with you. I had a browning uh, 3 inch magnum with a ventilated rib, 30 inch barrel full choke and early one morning I was uh, squirrel hunting and I heard a cat squirrel jump up on the side of the tree and I leaned out and pulled the trigger on it and uh, the receiver of that browning hit me dead in the nose right in the mouth and I, I literally saw stars like on a cartoon the red and the blue and the green the big stars and I started bleeding like a stuck pig so I went back to the vehicle and put the gun away and uh, sold it got rid of it it wasn't the gun's fault but you know I got to blame it on somebody when I got rid of the gun, just got tired of being punished with 12 gauges and I went out and I bought this this is another shotgun it is a uh, Remington model 1100 light 20 it has a 28 inch barrel ventilated rib It is full choke. It's got a pretty stock butt plate. I actually bought this at a Ace Hardware or something similar. And I've been uh, using it ever since. Now one of the things that I did do, because I used to hunt, when I hunted, I hunted in the rain, sleet, snow, it didn't matter. So, I had it parkerized. Took it to a gunsmith and he parkerized it for me. I love the, uh, this shotgun here. Um, got nice checkering I'm sure that's been pressed in there but that's nice checkering pattern on the uh, on the grip and also on the forearm it, it was just a beautiful gun uh, I think I paid like four hundred fifty dollars for it just 27 years ago I didn't have the money but uh I had to do something. So as I recall, uh, I charged it. Paid on it each month. But uh, it weighs seven pounds, so it's light, easy to handle. Um, has a four pound trigger on it. it will hold five you load it through here you must depress this little button as you shove your shell in and then shove them up into a tubular magazine it holds five four in the uh, tube one in the chamber like I told you on the last video you don't want to get caught in this state without the plug in it uh, you have to be able to disassemble the gun to get the plug out um, that's the law three shots three shots only which it doesn't really matter with me, you know, if I, if I usually miss on, if it's a bird, I'm going to miss three shots and another two shots would just be two more misses. But, um, I've killed a lot of squirrel with it, never deer hunted with it. Um, it's just been a good gun and the parkerized finish on it, uh, you don't have to worry about the rust. Or I haven't had to worry about the rust on it. Um, of course, you know Browning, they had a nice rich bluing on it and it looked good, but it just wasn't practical for me at the time because I figured if I, you know, had to work in the rain, uh, I could play in it. So, I, rain never slowed me down, inclement weather, when it came to uh, hunting. So, I had it parkerized and, and I've been just as pleased as I can with it. 
up until recently when I I don't shoot that well at uh, moving targets. I prefer for them to uh, be asleep or sitting on a tree branch or something. But I uh, tried to find a modified barrel because I was going deer uh, dove hunting. Tried to find a modified barrel and um, I couldn't. So I went and bought a, a new uh, shotgun that I'll be showing you at a later date. And uh, it's nice, has a lot of good features on it that this one, this particular model, does not have. Well, there goes my background. <laughs> now, a lot of people would edit that out. I mean, what you see is what you get. Anyway, it's a nice gun. Taking a lot of game with it. Small game. It's a Remington Model 1100 Light 20. Um, let me quickly show you what I've kept it in all these years. It's a, uh, a quilt. This thing here is 27 years old. It's as old as the gun, and I'm telling you what, it looks brand new. And I, this is just a plug for these people. I don't know if they're still in business or not. Got a handy little item there where you can hang it up. This has been one tough gun case and is made by Bob Allen out of Des Moines, Iowa. It's American made. I think I paid 25 bucks for it. One of the best investments I ever made. As you can tell by looking at the shotgun, um, it keeps them uh, safe and free from dents and bangs and scratches. But anyhow, I wanted to let you see that one so I can get around to showing you the new one. That is a Remington Model 1100 Light 20. I appreciate you watching.